the Milwaukee Bucks, despite having to deal with injury problems to Chris Middleton and Bobby Portis, have remained one of the best teams in the league with a 37-17 record at the time of writing. However, the Bucks know the value of adding some much-needed insurance to help protect them when the injury bug strikes at an inopportune time, like it did during their playoff run last year. Thus, it's no surprise that they have found themselves linked to a potential trade for veteran help in the form of New York Knicks point guard Derrick Rose. According to Mark Stein, subscription required, the Bucks have expressed trade interest in the 2011 league MVP. However, there may not be realistic scenario where Rose ends up in Milwaukee. Stein added that it's difficult to, to see a pathway to Milwaukee absorbing Rose's $14.5 million salary. But first, if you are new to the Bucks News Channel, take advantage and subscribe so you don't miss the latest news that happens in the world of basketball. We are always bringing you firsthand here. Enjoy and like this video so that YouTube continues to bring you the latest Bucks news in the world of basketball. While adding Derrick Rose should definitely help give the Bucks more backcourt scoring punch off the bench, adding a guard via trade may also not be the Bucks' number one priority. The Bucks have previously expressed interest in trading for Jay Crowder and even another Knicks outcast in Cam Reddish, signifying that their focus is on reinforcing their team on the wing. This focus on bolstering their wing depth is understandable, given how Chris Middleton's untimely injury in last year's playoffs effectively spelled doom for the Bucks in their series against the Boston Celtics. Middleton is playing better as of late, but the Bucks have yet to return him to his pre-injury workload. Nevertheless, the Knicks appear hell-bent on doing right by Derrick Rose, given his relationship with head coach Tom Thibodeau, so if the Knicks fail to find a trade for the veteran guard, it makes sense for them to buy him out eventually and allow him to sign for a team that would give him minutes. And perhaps by then, the Bucks could revisit their interest in the former MVP.